right, I'm gonna be random. Yeah. Oh, some people are. Oh, this is nice. I don't think you've ever been on the first floor at Pika. Nope. Here is the setup, really simple. Behind the table. Okay, ignore the bangs and the thigh bags. Oh my god. Um, it's um, Saturday, November 26, 6.32 p.m. It's really dark. Obviously, it's November in Toronto, so it's extremely dark by the time it's 4 o'clock. But I thought I'd pull out the camera because I was inspired by a talk that I had with a friend. I slept over at her place. We watched some movies and we talked a lot about YouTube stuff and just like general video things and art. So I was a little bit like, not a little bit, I was very inspired to pick up the camera again. And I have been like wanting to pick up the camera to start vlogging and editing again because I really miss it. I just encountered this really big burnout and really big block. I had about my videos where I found them really boring and just kind of repetitive so I think maybe I just need a reset and a refresh away from the same content that I had been editing for you know a few months and just get back into it and kind of figure out what I do want to do with the YouTube vlogs with my vlogs going forward 
I just again I just found them a little bit too samey and I felt like maybe it was too boring for people to be watching even though I know you guys don't care for those who watch my videos so yeah anyway I decided to pick up the camera again and but I'm not gonna like do a big catch-up or anything I know I've missed um, it's been a couple months it's been a yeah a couple months since I posted at least a couple weeks a, a lot of weeks since I posted my last video because I think my last video was after Kanzine which was October the 1st and it is already almost December so yeah um that's it that's all I'm gonna talk about right now I just want to get into the video um, I don't know what I'm gonna film yet but I know I went upstairs today the Saturday evening because I wanted to work on a comic I have been working on a lot of art stuff I have been posting less and less on my social media I actually have discontinued my patreon my patreon my Squarespace I still have one tier up it's like a my tip jar on patreon and also my two dollar um, subscription on members basis I just left that on because why not but it's it's really you don't really have to you know give me money but um i thought i'd mention that yeah i, I just in general been posting less on social media and it's been quite nice doing that maybe what i need to do is to refocus on just one social media application right now because recently twitter has been imploding and people have been talking about leaving twitter anyway i'm just digressing so yeah i've just been kind of hands off with my social media since the time that i stopped posting regularly anyway um yeah so i came up here to work on a, a comic i have been working on a few projects on my own so that's really exciting and um i've also taken on more work though like office work so i have been busy at work more which leads me to work less during the times i am home just because i'm tired and i have less days to just relax ignore my bangs i cut them obviously <laughs> uh yeah so i have my uh manila folder where i have the first few sketches of my comic the comic i'm working on is the the glass unicorn i decided to revamp or revive that project so i'm working on that and i have um i'm i applied for a convention in april in montreal so i'm going to want i'm aiming to have this comic done and printed by then it's going to be more than 30 pages of of like this page this comic is going to be a longer one more than 30 pages it might even be like 50 pages so it's going to be fairly long so I wanted I want to have this printed out by then and also a couple of new things but yeah um so I'm gonna work on that right now but I wanted to show you guys something Ugh, I know in my last vlog I was gonna I said I was gonna talk about my new approach to art so I'm going to do that in that in this video hopefully but I also wanted to show you my new comic in Chickadee and I think I mentioned that I was working on a comic with them for their November issue and it's out now. It's actually not a Halloween issue. It became like a space issue. So this is my comic right here. It's called Home Sweet Home. It's a four pager. So this is page one and page two. They sent me two free copies. And then this is page three and page four. And I think it turned out really cute. The first time I pitched this comic to them, um, this was actually uh, in a group of pitches that I had sent maybe a year ago and then they contacted me again and they're like, can you work on this pitch for this November issue? And I was like, yeah, sure. So they're just like, can we make a change though? We don't want it to be too scary. <laughs> My original uh, pitch was a little bit too scary for the younger reader. So they're like, instead of this happening, can you make... Originally, I had... So basically the story is of a kid who is moving to a different, like they're moving to a different house and he's just kind of hesitant because he's moving to a new neighborhood, he won't have friends and all that stuff. So, and then when he moved into his new house, he found out that the neighbors were like literal aliens. And so like, they're aliens right there. And then at the end of this comic, he was, um, He's obviously happy to be part of the, like he's just obviously happier um, but in my original idea he actually turned into a 
an alien. Like he transformed into a horrible looking alien or something like that. And they're like, that's a little bit too scary. Can you not have that happen? Can you give us different endings? And I was like, yeah, sure. So I gave them a couple of endings and this is the one they chose. They chose the one where he got some alien pets and he was happy. So, but yeah, that was my comment for Chickadee. I hope they contact me again because it's really fun to write something for younger kids because it's something that is not scary to me is obviously scary for children but i don't i didn't pitch all of my all of my pictures were not horror it's just that one was kind of it was for halloween and so they decided to contact me to reuse it for another issue okay so i'm going to just work on this comic um probably not going to show much of it well i'll show you some i just don't know how to film it i was talking to um, my friend about it last night and my friend Chris Hong she's I met her so we I stayed over we watched some movies and we were talking about YouTube stuff but I was mentioning I was at talk talking to her like I don't know what to film I don't know what to vlog I know I like to vlog about art and some stuff about my life but I also want to be able to vlog and talk a bit more about my comics but I just never know how to film it it's really difficult to work, especially the way I work and write comics. It's just hard to have film it in a way where I can show it from start to finish in a way that makes sense. Because a lot of the times when I work on a comic, I just kind of I I, I would do I do the writing and then the sketch. Sometimes I do the sketch first and then I write, or sometimes I write I do the title page in the beginning. It's just all over the place, so it's really difficult to film. I never really got a hang of it. What I do end up doing is I show some of the process on my videos and then it's just here's the finished product because I like to, I usually like to work off camera. It's just less pressure. But yeah, I'm working on the Glossy Unicorn. You know what? I can show you some of the ideas I had for cover. So I'll do that. I have a little book that I've been sketching in, but I'll show you the ideas that I have. Okay, so this is the book that I got. I bought this little notebook. It even has a little ribbon here. For Muji, it's just the pocket note and it's plain paper and it has so many pages and it was really cheap for what it was. So I was like, this is perfect for just writing really messy notes and sketches and stuff. So that's what I'm doing. Let me show you the page where I thought about some ideas for the, the comic itself called The Glass Unicorn. If you've been following me for a while, you've probably heard of that title. So let me just show you. Uh, yeah, so sorry for the lighting in my house. I just, it's always dark because I like working in the dark. Um, also, every time I film something, it's always at the end of the day, usually. But here's the idea. Uh, I really like the shape of the unicorn. It's, it doesn't really make any sense. But I like that one right here trying to make it work as a cover. I'm already thinking about it now. I also really like this one. But yeah, so that's the book. I have some notes in here. So let me just start drawing stuff. I have, um, when I work on comics, I usually have a couple of comic books out or just graphic novels just for um, inspiration and for this one I have Distance Mover by Patrick Kyle a really great graphic novel that I bought quite some time ago but um, I really like this because there are no panels in this comic or this book he does not use any panels whatsoever but you can read everything completely you know fine it's it's all nicely laid out for you so again no boxes so i really want to do that i want to emulate that feel in um the glass unicorn so i'm drawing the sketch right now like the sketches let me show you a page right here it's very messy i'm showing you the page and it's just harder for me to it's kind of hard for me to lay it out because i want to move stuff around so which means i should be moving over to photoshop so i can move stuff around without you know erasing too much but i really love to work um with pen and pencil and paper when i'm working on comics which is so so i'm kind of torn i'm pretty sure he used inks like he inked everything and then use some Photoshop afterwards to clean stuff up. 
because I've seen him work in ink. I follow him on Instagram and Twitter. I've seen him, sorry, it's just my chin you're seeing right now, but I'm just looking at the art. Oh, it's so good. So I want to emulate this style, but I'm, I'm stuck because I don't know how to do it without just erasing constantly. Uh, yeah. I also haven't decided if I want to make this into a watercolor comic or straight up just pen and just straight up inking and and simple colors just like distance mover man i don't know but i also like the look of <laughs> I also really like the look of Last Man and Last Man has the same kind of inking feel but there are panels in this comic but just really great motion oh I don't know this is what happens to me when I work if I'm working on a longer form comic I just need to decide on my approach and sometimes getting to that final look I need to do a lot of erasing, but I would solve this problem if I just worked on Photoshop, but I'm stubborn and I don't like working on my tablet because my eyes hurt for them usually and I like the pen I like the feeling of using a pencil. Oh, man. So I don't know. serving up fresh sushi and sashimi sourced from the new fish market and many of these sushi shops continue to be open as early as 5 a.m okay after doing a little bit of drawing i've only been drawing for like half an hour but in that half an hour i've just been thinking about my process I'm, i've just been drawing like tracing stuff over and just thinking through what i'm doing I've realized I really need to get over myself and draw stuff on Photoshop just for the ease of editing the layout. I want this comic to be readable, so I need to be able to use my fullest capacity to edit the layout in each page and not waste paper and save time. So I have to just get over it. <laughs> I need to work on Photoshop or Clip Studio to really lay out the pages that I want and then maybe and then i can print it out and then um, do the finals that way but in terms of the sketch and clean thumbnails i really need to work on photoshop to do that so i'm gonna keep my the pages that i worked in so far they're a really good starter it just really cements the fact that i have started working on this comic and my aim is to finish it up so i'm gonna scan the pages that i have so far and work on photoshop i really should get into it today but um i am i did promise my boyfriend that i was gonna play a game so i'm going to clean up my desk i'm gonna clean up my desk i'm gonna set up my tablet and then i'm going to have a shower and then we're going to play the game that he wanted me to try it's called warframe it's like a i don't even play it's a shooter game but i thought i'd try because it would be funny because i am so bad at games i have been playing stardew valley recently like a lot uh, because my brother has been playing it so it really like um made me want to play it again so i started a new save and i've been playing that for i think the last three weeks now so yeah anyway clean up my desk set up my tablet and then we can start to work on the uh, comic again i have other things that i need to do i have some commissions that i promised for christmas for family so I have to do that as well and also some gifts. I'm planning to do some commissions, some some gift commissions, so that's what I have planned. Stem of the mustard plant. It's been salted, dried, and rubbed with chili oil paste before fermenting in a very similar way that's used to make Korean style kimchi. Yes, this looks 
very red and spicy. And let me just tell you, it's all dark and no bite. It's super easy to eat. <laughs> oh, I didn't realize. Oh, that's interesting. I didn't realize his tail looked like that. I thought he had like a button on the side. No. It's like, I thought it stuck up more. <laughs> okay, so you play one. It's so flat. And I get this from my client, where I've been inside. So, there's a wonderful game about the dream of empire. Oh, cocoa. Chocolate flavored. Oh, good, they've got lots. Look at the options. So they've got calico cats. This one has darker ears. This is milk tea flavor. And then this one. Anyway, today I want to start working on my comic digitally. Last night I left you, I was gonna play Warframe and then I just never came back to the office or to my studio. So I just played Warframe with my boyfriend. I'm watching, if you're curious, I'm watching Charmeleon. Uh, she's like an old time YouTuber. I've known her about her for a long time, but I just restarted watching some of her more recent videos. Uh, but really nice, fun, kind of chill videos. I like the vibe that she does. She also really likes stationery and stuff. And I think she has a stationery business, but it's, um, I like her videos, they're really chill, so I've been watching her while I work on stuff. And yeah, so I have my Clip Studio. I've been using Clip Studio a lot more since I bought it a couple, I guess I bought it in the fall. Uh, I didn't start using it until very recently, so I'm going to start using it to lay out my comic. Um, what is that sound? There's something like tapping against something back here. I don't know if you can hear it. Only when I move. I made a coffee. I was going to show you my the new flavors that I got for our Nespresso because we ran out of pods, but I'll do that later when my boyfriend is not watching a video that could have some um, questionable content in it. <laughs> uh, yeah, the one I made is a peppermint flavor one. It tastes like I can smell the peppermint more than I can taste it. I wanted to try that out. They had like Christmas um, flavors, so I tried that out, but I'll show you them later. Oh, don't fall. So for this comic, I'm changing up the size. I'm going for a 5x7. 5x7 seven. Mm, seven because I'm gonna dis I'm try I'm gonna try and print it out through a company and not print it out myself because the last time I printed a comic, it was so tiring. I printed out um, too much on your plate and that was a lot of pages so I couldn't really make the quantity that I wanted for it to sell so I'm gonna try and print it from a company um, I'm looking at Mixum Canada I called it I think it's called Mixum in Toronto oh my god I clicked something else god damn it. Um, m -m 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 Mixum yeah Mixum in Toronto so I might be able to pick it up, I don't know, depending on the quantity of it. But I'm gonna go buy a, with a 5x7 because on their website there is a set, uh, their set sizes. And if I pick a set size instead of a custom one, it will be cheaper to do. So I picked a 5x7 um, folded. And it's probably just gonna be perfect bound. It's gonna be stapled or saddle stitched instead of uh, bound uh, just to save in cost. And I don't know what the projected pages are going to be, but uh, they're probably going to be, it's probably going to be more than 40 pages. So it's going to be like 500 to range from 500 to 1000 USD, a USD Canadian. So I'm going to start with that. The size is important when you're working on a comic and if you are printing it, 
uh, the size is important. I also want to set up my pages in a way where there is enough bleed so if I submit it to print they won't have too many issues with bleed and stuff and I'm also making sure my page starts off the way I want it. So if when I'm making a comic I need to decide whether or not when you know you have your intro pages if you have them like this I'm using the distance mover. So if you have your intro like pages just like something blank and then you have your publication information or whatever I need to decide if I want my comic to start when you flip a page like this one page and then you flip the page and it's going to be a spread so that's what I want to do I usually start working as a spread so when you turn when you open the comic uh, you see the I guess the, the cover and then you open the next page and it's a spread but for this comic I want it to be a flip the page and you see the first page so kind of like this one nothing here first page and then you flip it and it's the spread if that makes any sense so I need to decide on that but I'm thinking now um, I want to fold a 5x7 to actually see what it looks like because I did it last night and I forgot so I'm gonna fold a 5x7 and I think a 5x7 is just a legal paper folded is that right where'd my roller go This one is Sligo folded. Oh wait, I can do a 5x8 because they have it here and I like that better than a 7. More expensive, but... So this one is legal size, so 85 by 14 piece of paper folded into a... I guess that's a 7. So that's 7 by... This is 7 by 8.5. I don't think they have that. Wait, what? Why am I forgetting? Yeah, this is a 8.5 by 7. They have a 7 by 9. <sighs> What does the distance worker have? Because I like this size. So this is probably compensating for bleed. So this is gonna be this is a six by six by this is probably a five by seven. Yeah. Man, I don't know. to visualize this so I want to go I don't want to be too big because it's going to be more expensive and I want it to be cut I guess I should just stick with a 5 by 7 but what is that going to look like so 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 This is a 5x7 uh, compared to distance mover. It's way smaller. I don't like the shot but it's probably cheaper that way. I don't like it. <laughs> Alright, after a lot of back and forth. I decided to plug in the custom sizes on their website because they weren't offering this, this size, my usual size, which is an eight and a half by seven, but they are able to do it custom and it's not that expensive compared to the ones on their standard, you know, drop down list menu. So I'm gonna go with what I know, eight and a half by seven. I really like the square look of this, not too tall, you know, I like it. So I'm gonna stick with that. Yeah, that was a lot of back and forth. So, okay, let's set up my pages into that right now. All right, I have set up my pages. It's now time to scan the scan the um, pages that I've drawn so I can 
like skip trying to think for the first few pages at least. Okay, I was going to scan this and I'm going to scan it in lower resolution so I don't have to take for it doesn't have to take forever. Hmm, where did it go? Where is my folder? So I'm going to do this for a bit and then I will check back. So it's been a few hours. It's now 1.36 and I'm... This is pretty normal for me. It's, it's... When I'm starting a new comic, I am going back and forth with style, process, mostly style and process because I have the, the story in my head and I've kind of... I know all the beats for the plot from beginning to end. I just need to settle on the style and my process, which are both very important things because style, um, the style, uh, what do you call it? What's the word? The style bleeds into the process. I mean, the style makes what the process is. And so, um, but in terms of the process, I want it to be fairly quick. I don't want to waste too much time. Like in the beginning, I was sketching it out on paper, but in my other comics, I've actually realized that I sketch everything on Photoshop so I can edit stuff around and then I go into traditional. So let me show you what I've worked on. So this is the first page. Uh, I actually drew it on paper and I just translated it over to Photoshop or Clip Studio. Let me just find that page for you here. Where is it? Did I leave it in the scanner? I don't think it did. What's going on here? Oh, there's nothing in the scanner. So. Oh, it's right there. It's this one. Jeez. So this is the first page. Um, this is what it looks like here. And then I translated it over to looking like this. So um, I feel like I'm just trying to get my bearings straight here or trying to uh, work my way up into what is eventually going to be a streamlined process. So that takes a little bit of time to spool up. So I like how that looks. I don't like how it looks like digitally because I was playing around with the idea of just switching over to just digital. So I printed it out in my brother printer is running out of ink that's why it's not that clear but i don't like how that looks i i pulled out again too much on your plate and i really like watercolor so i think that's what i'm going to end up doing again it takes more time but um once i lay out the the what do you call it once i lay out the pages Painting is just going to go really quickly. Too much on your plate. I'm not printing this out, so you can't really buy it. But I haven't really talked about this, but you can see it in the book that's coming out. My book that's coming out next year, which is published by Silver Sprocket Publishing. I uh, tweeted about it uh, when it was announced that it was going to get printed. Uh, so the Silver Sprocket book is it, called Sugar and Other Stories. I, um, I painted the the front and the back cover and what basically what what's inside that book are all of my stories that I've written for the last few years and it will include too much on your plate so it includes um, includes at the end be like blood to all the witches uh, too much on your plate and sugar so it's just a selection of those stories so you don't really necessarily have to buy it because if you've bought some of my comics before, you already have copies, but this is like an anthology of the stories that I've made for the last couple years. Um, I have more obviously, but those that's what we chose. So it's great. I'm, I'm really happy because I don't have to print it. It's gonna be beautifully bound. It's hardcover. There's even a ribbon and that's coming out next year. So Feb February, I think it's either the like the beginning of February or mid-February, it's going to be out. But you can pre-order it on the Silver Sprocket website. I'll leave a link to that in the comment section so you can... I'll show you the cover too. You know what, let me... I'll put it on the screen so I don't have to show it to you on my 
computer and the, the quality is gonna look really bad but yeah uh, that's coming out next year anyway digressing I'm talking about other things again so yeah I'm going to just continue working I think yeah I keep going back and forth but I'm gonna go back to the process and style I did with too much on your plate I really wanted to continue that this is a misprint this is printed wrong all right <laughs> switching over again all right say goodbye to tablet for the time being Right. Okay, so I'll show you the coffees that I got. Um, we got these skulls from Halloween. For Halloween. We're just borrowing it. It's my boyfriend's parents' like outdoor Halloween decor. And we just thought we'd put it in the house because we have so many skulls already. Like this is from them too. We just bring it back when it's Halloween time. And Halloween has already passed. So we just need to figure out where to put this. Anyway, so I'm enjoying the, the coffees. I'm very excited about them. Look at all my sweetener. I need to fix this. So this is just like over here are just like random teas that I have, loose teas. So I have some green tea here, mostly for guests and then just random stuff and some loose pods and some sweetener. So yeah, I got this from Fulu. <laughs> uh, yeah, so anyway, so these are the coffees I got. I'm very excited about them because they're so pricey and just... I need to, I like to share them. They're fun. Okay, so it's definitely an investment. Anyway, this is the one I had, the peppermint pinwheel. It's not bad. I wouldn't try to get it again. This is just a regular dark coffee, hazelnut coffee, a favorite. This one is like a hazelnut gourmet coffee. So it's the Christmas special again. Uh, coffee, uh, this is coconut coffee. And it's really good with as a cold coffee. So I use that when I want iced coffee. This is the same thing. I use it when I want some iced coffee. It's more um, concentrated, so it's a stronger coffee. You put it over ice with some milk. And it has like a limey, lemony flavor. It's very different, and I really enjoyed that during the summer. So I got more. Um, so that's what we have out on our in our little thingy here. But then I also have some more extra. So these are just... Uh, this is a regular Mexico coffee. This one's another iced coffee. I've been really into iced coffee So this one is for you know iced cold and then more of this is a flavored caramel I get that all the time and then this is another hazelnut gourmet flavor for the Christmas specials and that's it I wanted to share that because I love drinking coffee. I'm not like a coffee connoisseur. I like I like um instant coffee and this pretty much is like instant coffee because you just press a button i don't do the whole like uh, drip coffee or anything like that anyway that's it for the coffee break oh my phone is here let's go back upstairs and, and work on comics okay it is now 2 50. update you a little bit here god the lighting um i have drawn five pages well four and a half pages the fifth page is a little bit it's, it's more of an effect so I don't really need to finish it it's just something falling so I need to finish it. I'm gonna count that as five pages yeah so that's pretty good so I've settled on my usual process same process I has I have been for too much on your plate which is kind of funny because I went it took me like a day to go back and forth between what I wanted to do but I have settled on my usual and yeah, so this is the first page. And this is the final clean pencil, which I'm going to watercolor on. And then, yeah. I'm going to make food now, though. So I'll take you with me downstairs to the kitchen to make food. I'm going to leave this. I usually clean up after, but I think I'm going to try and do two more pages. And then that's it. Let's make food. I think what I'm gonna make, we have some pizza. Uh, I have some leftover congee. I went to Congee Queen with Chris and I wanna eat that, but I'm gonna make food. 
We have some pork that got defrosted, so I'm gonna use pork. And, um, what's it? Carrots. I'm gonna make a curry, I think. I don't know. I haven't decided what kind of curry yet. Peppers. And limes. I'm not gonna make a curry because I don't, I like regular potatoes with curry and carrots, but I only have like these orange sweet potatoes, which I think don't really work well because it's just too sweet. So I'm just gonna make katsu. I'm gonna make katsu with veggies. So that's what I'm gonna do. I gotta cut the If you're vegetarian or vegan. <laughs> I'm just gonna roast these. some noise. Nancy Rodriguez, would you make me the happiest man in the world? Spend the, the rest of my life with me. everything I'm ready to cook so I'm gonna do the pork katsu or whatever <laughs> with some stir-fried vegetables and I am roasting the sweet potato as like another side but I'm gonna wait a little bit before I start cooking because all these the all the stuff will come together quickly but the potato will not so I have half an hour left on the timer for the potato and so I'm gonna wait a little bit maybe like 15 minutes and then I'm gonna start cooking stuff um, yeah, I have never cooked these before and there's two separate ones because this is like 
uh, this is the more fatty bits and I don't want to throw them away so I'm gonna try and cook them my boyfriend will probably eat them uh, he likes the more he likes more of the grizzly parts than I do so yeah So which potato do you want? Gym is clean and here are the leftovers. Just let it cool before I close it and put it back in the fridge. So I think success. <laughs> It is 6.15. I'm working on page 7, but I'm going to take a break. We're going to go for a quick walk. And then I'll be back and finish page 7. And then I think that'll be it for comic work today. I'm wearing my sweater that my brother got me. It's like flames and uh, ice. I think they're dragons or something. <laughs> I'm back now. It was a little rainy when we went out for our walk, but it was a very quick one. So it's 7 o'clock and I am finishing up with page 7. So, but before I do that, I actually want to get another cup of coffee. I might do a cold coffee this time. So that's what I'm going to do. And then maybe I might edit this vlog and have it up for tomorrow, Monday. I don't know. We'll see how much footage I have even. I'm not sure if I'm going to include the footage from before, but we'll see what I do. Alright, I'm going to grab another coffee. And I'll, I'll just be back with the coffee. You don't need another shot of me making coffee in this vlog. I feel like I do that so many times, so... I don't know. I'm trying to... Again, I'm trying to figure out ways for myself not to be bored with vlog editing. So... I don't know. I don't know. I haven't solved the problem yet, but we'll get there. Here it is. I did coconut coffee, cold or iced. Yeah, cheers. Okay, so it's now 10.30. I um, worked up to page uh, 11. So I'm going to show you the first two pages, just a preview. Um, so yeah, this comic is called The Glass Unicorn. And so this is the first page. It's gonna be the first page you see, and you flip over and it's gonna be second page with, it's gonna be spread. And yeah, so there's a unicorn there. Um, this, <laughs> this comic is gonna have a lot of horse drawings I guess because it's a or unicorn drawing so I'm gonna have a lot of that and uh, I didn't really think about that but I'm up for the challenge so we'll see how it turns out but yeah I'm just gonna like I did with a too much on your plate I'm just gonna paint this right off I'm gonna skip the inking phase so I'm doing so this sketch is the actual final pencil and I'm just gonna paint on this I've skipped a step here and uh, I've done 11 pages like that so I have definitely spooled up I just need to keep going I think that's it for tonight I'm gonna see how much footage I have and see if I can have a vlog up for the end of the week not tomorrow but probably the end of the week um, very happy with my progress here hopefully I can get this done and printed by April which is when the Montreal Comic Arts Festival is gonna be so I have a couple months yet, uh, but I probably need uh, at least two months for cushion in terms of printing. So I want this to be done by, so I'll be, uh, I'll probably have, oh man, I'd like to get it done by February, end of February, middle of March, maybe end of February. So I need to be done by end of February so I will have the whole of March to send it off to a printer and um, hopefully get it by the by April. April. I don't even remember when the con is but I think it's like mid-April and then 
I did sign up for TCAF again. I doubt I'm going to get in this time, but I might get into the digital fest for it. So I'll have this for sale as well. And if I do get into TCAF for May, then I can have this for sale. I do want to work on other zines, like smaller zines, um, some new stuff for then. I will have my book by Silver Sprocket. I think they'll be sending me a few copies to sell on my own. So I would have that for MCAF too. I'm really dialing down the amount of stuff that I have at uh, conventions just because a lot of the stuff I've been selling like my comic book story and um, like my older stuff are just pretty old and I'm gl glad that Silver Sprocket has contacted me to publish it in a book so I can just have one. It'll be more expensive obviously because it's going to be an actual printed book but I'll have less stuff on my table. And yeah, I do want to have some new stickers too. Man. Anyway, uh, yeah, that's it for the work I've done. I'm excited to get more pages painted. I'm actually itching to paint, but I want to get all the pencils done before I start painting. So yeah, it's gonna be exciting, I think, hopefully. It's a rainy day today. Sorry for the horrible zoom. As usual, it is a gloomy day and um, dark in this room, but <laughs> oh my god. Uh, so I'm just, uh, I was just finishing up the vlog editing and I thought I'd say goodbye here. I've already filmed a few things for the next vlog. Uh, so hope you guys stay tuned for that. I think it will probably be out on Friday and this one is out on Friday. So I hope you enjoy it and um, it's not that boring. Um, but yeah, we're going to continue working on comics next week and I've already started doing some Christmas shopping. So there's going to be some Christmas shopping and packing and stuff in the next vlog as well. So yeah, I'm still on social media if you're interested in that. So you can subscribe to those, but I don't update as much as I do anymore. I think in the future I will be posting, I'll just be posting on YouTube and Instagram from time to time, sometimes on Twitter, but I'm gonna try and focus on YouTube because that's what I enjoy right now. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a great weekend and I will see you in the next one. So, bye. I'm not, I'm just gonna sell the stickers that I have, like the die cut stickers. I'm not gonna cut my own, you know, sticker packs. I'm not doing that. <laughs> I charged my Square Reader and now I'm just gonna.